Hey. How do I say this? Uh, it's been a while. It's the joke that keeps on giving. It has been another two weeks. I'm sorry. I've just, the holidays. They've been really. The holidays have been a wild time, and then I got back into work, and then it's been a time. It's been a while. Um, but here we are, going back into episode like ten or something now. Seven. Um, content warning is always going to be some serious stuff that's covered. Uh, but yeah, I hope you're all doing okay. Um, I'm geared up as always. I've got my water. I've got my game. I've got my ambition. I've got my stinky cheese breath because I just ate some Swiss right before I got on. Got my muscles. Alright. Uh, uh, chapter 7. That was close. Well, yeah, don't look. I did some practice rounds. I always like to do some practice rounds before I, uh, you know, do the recording. That way it goes smoothly. I also like to go ahead and get my army set up and stuff so that. It's not, you know, you don't go have the boring part where I'm like, ooh, I've got to trade these around. All right. Oh my God, look how pretty that is. I know I rant all the time about how pretty these screens are, but like seriously, sometimes I don't even want to play the game. I just want to look at it. And I think, I think I've seen this one. This almost looks like a painting that I studied in AP art history in high school. I don't know. Maybe. If you're an art history uh, savant, then let me know in the comments what the fuck that is. Looks like a choich and some trees. All right. Chapter 7, Revenants and Riders. May 1025 CC. After quelling the uprising, Zayd left the Venetian Republic and began his journey home to Redessa. The Solvian Empire's forces still controlled the southeastern seaboard meaning a return by ship was out of the question. Instead, his army marched north from Luca and across the mountains, whence they would cut east through the Karate of Solis and the Eerie Desert. It was a sound route, but not one without challenge. First, Zaid's troops faced a grueling journey across the desert sands, whilst laden with heavy armor and weaponry. Second, they had to get there. Solis was still embroiled in a bloody civil war. Countless proud horse clans, each with its own laws, claimed the Cilician steppe as their home and pasture. For an age, they warred and traded in blood, until a great hero finally arrived two centuries ago and united them as one Karate. As it happens, this hero, Amsalim, was unique among Vesteria's early founders in that he was not of Udigal blood. The Cilician dynasty ruled from the citadel of Haral, but unification never truly took with the land's fiercely independent peoples. Before long, bending the knee gave way to the bending of bows, as the clans skirmish amongst themselves. Until finally, one of the more powerful clans, the Ordoms, dropped all pretenses of allegiance and disavowed the car. Soon, the Ordoms had cajoled or cowed more clans into joining their rebellion, and it was open war once again. The car re Re regent regnant I thought it was supposed to be regent the car regnant halim 17th to sit the throne was killed in battle i don't think that's him yeah and this man tamthir chief of the ordoms proclaimed himself solus's new ruler at the time halim's younger brother the noyan gishkal was off fighting another war in frist i believe noyan is his title gishkal is his name the Noyan Gishkal was off fighting another war in Frist. Upon news of his brother's death, Gishkal raced home in order to denounce Tamthir and champion his nephew, Prince Kilton's claim to the throne. That's Kilton. In the western oasis village of Malaya, they gathered their forces and made ready to reclaim Kilton's birthright. Now, Zaid had heard of Gishkal, as his brother Zek had told it the man was worthy of trust. During Maleta's engagement with the Empire in Frist, 
Gishkal was one of the few to answer Zek's pleas for help. With only his small Cilician detachment, he had bravely defended the Redesian forces as they retreated to the capital. Zayd suggested they find Gishkal and secure his help. Garland was quick to agree to such. Garland was quick to agree that such an alliance was vital to crossing Solus safely. Thus, their first order of business after descending the perilous crawls was to seek information in a small village at the foot of the mountains. Along the way, they stopped to rest in an old monastery, where their journey took quite the abrupt turn. The music is really working with me here. Abbot Lise, I cannot thank you enough for giving us shelter. Your hospitality has renewed us truly. Nonsense. <clears throat> Nonsense, my lord. It's a wonder that you and your troops made it through the crawls. A miracle, dare I say. I knew the moment that you arrived at our doors, the gods looked upon you with favor. I merely did my part as their servant. You're too kind. But now the time has come for us to press onward. The road takes us west to... Abbot! Uh, grave news! They've returned! The revenants are forming up beyond the walls. They're preparing to attack the village. Again! <sighs> Will those wretched creatures not rest until they've devoured every one of Vesta's servants? What do we do, Abbot? Gather the villagers. Get them here inside the monastery walls. Together, we will offer a prayer and hope that the gods see fit to deliver us. Right away. Abbot, what is this about? Revenants? Forgive me, my lord. You oughtn't have to concern yourself with this. After all your generosity, I should think I do. Now tell me what's wrong. Well, there is an old manor at the foot of the mountains west of the village. At one time it was abandoned, but roughly half a year ago a warlock took up residence there, made it his lair. A warlock? A truly horrible man. I know not who he is. We refer to him as the Diabolist. He's been raising the dead from their graves and sending the monsters after our villagers. Most of the poor souls have already been eaten. Eaten? Vestas! Vespers! That sounds too Scooby-Doo. Yes, blood-chilling tale, is it not? And no matter how many times one strikes the monsters down, they simply rise again. Say no more. My troops and I will find a way to rid you of your problem. Tr truly Oh, thank you. You are God sent. I pray that no more villagers need suffer. Alright, and I believe this is already how I laid it out. Um... Yeah. I might... This is gonna sound nuts. I don't think it's a huge deal, but like... I don't think it's a big enough deal. I think I'll be fine. Hopefully. You were about to see some hints though. This map is pretty nuts um so here we are at the manor we gotta go west through these guys revenants and get to this the diabolist a warlock who inhabits the western manse who is he um so yeah we gotta go fight that guy right presumably um what the shit leader of the diabolist servants <clears throat> Lots of questions. Nobody knows what's going on here. What's going on up here? There's a bunch of yurts. Why are they there? Chest in the mountains? I don't know. Let's find out. Um, we're about to get some hints as to what's happening here. It's pretty cool. I like this game. <coughs> I'm going to drink a shit ton of water real fast. Those operatics really helped me out. They gave me inspiration to chug that shit. 
Wow. <clears throat> okay. Begin the battle. I might. <clears throat> Raising the dead, Master Garland? How does one achieve that? Are you familiar with the Kingdom of Sphire, young lord? Not very. All I know is that it's one of Hysteria's seven nations. I've heard it disparagingly called the Land of Hexes and Hedonism. It is a city-state founded five centuries ago by the Mage Errant Sphire, one of the five heroes who liberated Vesteria from the Dark One. Its capital is home to the island's largest magic academy, a draw for youths far and wide with the talent and aspiration to become mages. Spherians practice at their craft daily, and the kingdom possesses the largest population of magic users in all of Vesteria, more even than the Temenos of Vesta itself. Theodel said that he studied magic in Vesta. Is there a difference? The Vestal Ministry and its mages are expressly forbidden from using magic, except in self-defense. But in Sphire, magic is simply another competence, another type of profession. Most Sphirian mages leave the academy to ply their craft as mercenaries for whatever nation will take them, healers and mages for hire. So they've trained in magic the same way that soldiers are trained in conventional weapons. Correct. And one such magical profession is necromancy. Damn, this music is working with me! A necromancer is said to fight by summoning corpses and demons from the realm of the dead. Though I cannot avow it myself. Some insist the corpses are mere illusions, while others dismiss them as mere puppets that the warlock is controlling. Even in Sphire, necromancers are quite rare. Their secrets are closely guarded and taught to but a select few. So you think the Diabolist at the manor is a Spherian warlock of some kind? Most likely. But he must want something. Let's make our first goal learning what that is. Garland out here giving us the real hints. So maybe there's more to this Diabolist guy than meets the Diabolist eye. Did you like that? That was a funny pun. Um, and the big hit there is that we should speak with him. And maybe figure out what's going on and maybe not fight these guys that's that's the big one that is kind of hidden now, i knew that already because i've played this but that's the hint you're supposed to get um oh i didn't fuck uh i was supposed to it's all right we got this so I'm actually going to use Bonachell here. Bonachell is going to run over without any weapons. Maybe Prody too, if I have space. Troy is going to eat a cake. Yep! Yeah! Alright. Did that even work? Did that even just... Whatever, I don't care. Troy's already broken. Zay, I want Zay to move as far as possible. Merida can go here. Psst! We must speak! It's about the witch! The Revenant Witch! She's not what you- Sestra, the good knights have much to do. Trouble them not with idle chatter. <gasps> here, take this medicine. It's a special brew we make right here in the monastery. One quaff, and you'll feel a quickening in your muscles that allows you to evade any attack. I believe you will find it quite useful. Uh-huh. Sure. No, I don't think I will. All right, so we're not going to visit that guy. The Devotionist. That's... I don't trust that. Um... I gotta think about this. I want Ash. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. 
I want Ash going. I think I might have Halden stay here. Halden and Prody, maybe. Prody, visit this. What? What? You're not here to... Oh, thank the gods. Take this, quickly! Now be silent and go. Go! We never spoke! Okay. Saeed, definitely go. Saeed's actually gonna be really important on this map. I need him. Alright, Theo. Theo really should go. Halden, I think I'm gonna keep here. Whatever it is that we did wrong to you, I'm sorry. I beg you, stay your wrath. You can take anything you want from us, but my daughter, please spare my little girl. Oh shit, don't give me your money. I'm not bad. So clearly something clearly something fucked up is going on here, right? Clearly. Hey, no, that's the one guy you shouldn't attack! Alright, that's fine. Whatever, we killed one guy. I'm not mad. Should I be? Should I? Should I just like look? Alright, y'all don't be mad at me. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna roll just real quick. Boop. No no no, oh my, oh my. Is that fine? Let me think. I need a shit. Fuck. Jesus. All right. We have already visited all these places. We don't need to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The devotion is. Should I mean, I'll just go in and be like, hi, what's up, boo? Um. It makes me mad that they are not smart. That they will fight. No, shit. I'm not smart. Okay. Theo, fucking stay here, I guess. For some reason, they'll go after you. Alright. It's like, it's almost like nothing happened, guys. Right? It's almost like nothing happened. I know this looks crazy. But I think this is the smart way to do it. I don't want them attacking any of my guys. Go after people that can't hurt you. Sorry guys, I'm a perfectionist. I have to... Maybe you started with less than that. All right, let's see. Okay, we lost like 30 seconds there, guys. Shut your mouth. Blah, 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 blah. I don't want to see any complaints in the comments. I'm a perfect YouTube guy. Why would you go after him? Don't hit him. Caesar. All right, you don't know any better. Oh my god, and of course they fucking blocked this perfectly. Zade's the important one that we gotta get through here. Alright, so you're staying, you're staying. Do I wanna have anyone else stay? in terms of heals, Aethel should be good enough going on the left, and Lilia should be good enough staying here on the right. Um, I know this seems fucking crazy, but I don't know. I guess I, 
I don't like the design of this map as much as I remember because it's kind of dumb that you got to do this. But this is the safest way to do it so that nobody dies. Oh, you can use swords. Of course you can. All right. Nobody die. Oh shit. We really gotta hurry. Jamulan, I command you to burn Malaya to the ground. This is the little princeling's last supply point. Destroy it and his pathetic army will wither and die. Do not fail me. Never my car. With Gishkal out of the way, I will make short work of this huddle of tents. Its ashes shall be my gift to you. You are the mightiest of my bagatours. I trust no warrior more. But remember that Welp Kilton is cowering inside one of the yurts. If you find him, I know what to do. No Kilton, no rival for your throne. If he's the fool I think him to be, he'll ride forth to challenge us, and the rest will be easy. Excellent. I shall return to the Citadel and await the good news. I'm not the biggest Jamulan fan. He plays a pretty big role in this game, like in terms of the story. Uh, he gets pretty big. That's a spoiler alert. He becomes a pretty big dude. I'm not the biggest fan of him. Uh, he kind of turns around, but he's pretty... I don't know. He doesn't get explored too much. But the thing that I really dislike about him is that I think he looks like me. And I don't... I don't like that he's one of the weaker characters and that he looks like me. Yes, my car. Neira, do not just sit there. Come. No, father. I'm staying with Jamulan. Now, she's cool as fuck. I thought you might say that, but I warn you, child. Your puerile boots of sentiment have no place on the battlefield. Keep out of his way. Daughter or not, you won't be spared my wrath if you interfere. Jamulan, you cannot possibly hold with this. The car has spoken, my princess. You waste your breath asking. I'm not blind to the rift between you and your father, but I'd sooner not fall into it. He is my car and I am his warrior. Had he not taken me in, I would be nothing. Never ask me to betray him. I didn't, I just... Please, be on your way. I, I can't concentrate with you flitting about. Why? I... Am I a distraction? Draw no closer. You're my princess. I meant nothing more by it. Of course you didn't. They have an interesting relationship. No! Dude, I'm already fucking, I'm mad. Why do you all do that? Oh shit, he's summoning him back. That angers me. Brody, fucking ch stay here. You guys aren't helping. Troy, I'm pissed at you, dude. Probably wondering why are you having Halden and Theo stay there? There's a reason. Ow. See, like, you can go after her. That's fine. She can't fight back. But why go after. I'm gonna kill you, rob you, and roast you. You pick the order. Jesus. Sorry, but orders is orders. I can't let you live. Sad. <sighs> Luckily... Yeri is gonna ride up here and start saving the day pretty early. Caesar, go ahead and keep running. 
That's so annoying, dude. Why did that guy go after fucking Troy? Whatever. Good level, Lilia. Alright, um, we're almost there. Figure out what is going on in this crazy place. Bonachelle dodges behind a rock. I would imagine these guys aren't the hardest to dodge. Ow. That's <laughs> good. Good timing, Ethel. No. Oh. Something up here. There he is. Remember this face. Remember it. It's a beautiful one. Uh, what's what voice should Kilton have? He's a huge character. I mean, he's one of the most important characters in the game. Uh, Auntie, did you hear? The Ordoms are coming. I'm running out to take a look. Sire, for the last time, please do not call me that. I am but a humble servant to your royal house. I'm not worthy of such affections. Servant? You're my uncle's consort. I consider you family. He's a pompous brat right now. Yes, well, the Noyan has forbidden you from going into battle until he returns. You're no longer a child. You're to stay here like he asked. While Tamthir's men slaughter the villagers? I can't just turn a blind eye. I will not. Sire, please, I understand how you feel, but you cannot save the village alone. You'd be writing to your death, and for what? Nothing. Move aside, I refuse to abandon my people. Then take that sword and drive it through my heart, because I will not move aside. I'm not giving this saying the energy it needs, apparently. You're the sole heir to the Cilician throne. Noyan Gishkal has been fighting day and night to keep you alive so that you may sit on that throne. He insists that I prevent you from doing anything reckless, no matter the cost, so you'll have to cut me down if you wish to leave. You know the love I bear for him. Do not test it. I won't, Auntie. Uh, I know you. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you cry. It's all right, sire. They are my tears to bear. I'll stay here with you. You're safe with me until Uncle returns. Here, dry your eyes. Thank you, sir. Yeah, he's... He's gonna be a piece of shit for a while. But he's cool as fuck. Get out there, Yuri! Yuri's flying over the mountains! Gonna save the day. This really kind of sucks. Like this is this is really turning into shit really fast. Maybe I shouldn't have had these guys hold back. I don't know. I'm scared, man. No, oh, one of the years has been destroyed. Mama, don't leave me. Please don't die. Wake up. Wake up. Mama. Oi. Who's the filly? Must be the dead woman's brat. Jamalan said everyone. That include children? I think so. <sighs> well, orders are orders. Let's just get it over with. Make it as painless for her as possible. It's that big heart of yours I like. It's that big heart of yours I like best, friend. Right. Sorry, lass. Fate's a cruel wench. Stop! What are you doing? Princess, we're, we're just following orders. We were told to kill every villager in sight. We'll be punished if we don't. I know, but maybe... Maybe you could just close your eyes. Just for a minute. Close our... Oh... 
Uh, blasted, I, I think a gnat just, just flew in my eye. Uh, both my eyes. My, my eyes are full of gnats. I can't see a damn thing. Uh, did your horse kick you in the head? Ow! Why'd you step on my foot? Oh! Ow! My eyes! There are gnats in my eyes, too! Oh, there are my ears, too! Oh, gods, please make the gnats stop! Thank you. Here, lass. Take my hand. Up you go. We need to ride fast. But, my mama, I, I can't just leave her. Don't worry. Your mother... Your mother will catch up. But right now, we need to go. Please? Uh, all right. Jamulan, I can stomach no more of this. I'm going back to the village. What? Uh, wait, princess! Ah, gods take her. Doesn't she realize that Kishkal's men are still out there? Now I have one more thing to worry about. Gorval, stay here. Hold our position. If the enemy attacks before I return, crush them. Yes, sir. That was a cute scene. Very lighthearted. That was actually a lot more lighthearted than I thought it was going to be. Um, but yeah, it was a cute, cute little scene. Alright, Caesar's going to run up here. Who's got whose weapons? Okay, you've got Zades, so let's go ahead and make that trade. Yeah. You've just got your own. Oh, perfect. That's Prody's weapons. God damn it! Oh my god. Prody doesn't have weapons. And you have Ash's weapons. Oh my god. I fucked this up so bad. I didn't know this could go this poorly. Okay, um... Well, shit. I really don't know what the best thing to do here is. Yuri can probably take these guys, but I don't know if I want to yet. <laughs> Caesar's gonna go for the chest. Merida's gonna run up here to the coast. You can give Ash your woodcutter's axe or something. Let's go ahead and talk to the Diablos. We can get that out of the way. How long has it been? 32 minutes. Alright. This episode has been a fucking mess. Which is funny, because last time I recorded it, it actually went okay. But then at the end, I was like, mm, I could have done that better. And I now I'm redoing it. That was like two weeks ago that I almost forgot. I'm so bad at this. All right. Let's keep going. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Who are you? How could you do something so despicable? If you've nothing to say for yourself, then prepare to accept your punishment. What? Look closer, boy. Huh? Who are you? You're no warlock. <sighs> of course not. Is the illusion broken? Look again at the monsters that you've been fighting. They're people! Wha what? No, it's not possible. Oh, it is. The abbot has been deceiving the lot of you. Those aren't revenants, only innocent villagers who took up arms in self-defense. No. What's done is done. How could you have known? Gravendel's sorcery is elaborate and terrifyingly convincing. We didn't catch on either until it was too late, and we'd cut down all the mercenaries that he'd sent against us. Who or what is this Gravendale? Why would he make us do such a thing? Come inside, we've much to discuss. Father, I'm home. A court! Are you alright? By some miracle, what did that demon do to me and those knights? 
brandishing swords at us like we were... <gasps> you! Me? Me what? Why are you glaring at me? I don't believe we've met. Oh, but you have. Allow me to reacquaint you. <laughs> Father, stop it! This isn't funny! Frattle rattle. You see now why she has a bone to pick? Uh, yes. I see all the bones. I'm sorry, my lady, we made a grievous misjudgment. A misjudgment? A misjudgment, you pompous ass! You are ready to kill me and my friends. Put yourself in our shoes and tell me again it was a misjudgment. I've heard better apologies from barn swallows. A court, please! We should at least allow the Lord to give his name. Yes, of course. Forgive me. I'm Zadrian, second son of the late Duke of Odessa, protectorate of the Kingdom of Maleda. Ah, the lordling without a land. I heard you and Princess Atolphus escaped to Venetia, and now I presume you intend to return to your kingdom. Yes, we braved the bitter cold of the crawls for no other reason. But we never expected to be embroiled in anything quite like this. What happened at the monastery, and, and who are you? My father, Count Roland, is lord of these Spherian lands. Our noble house has guarded this fiefdom for generations. Sphire? Uh, no, we should be well east of there, inside the borders of Solus. The map was quite clear. Begging your pardon, sire, but I'd say it wasn't quite clear enough. Ours is a narrow tract of land between the crawls and Solus. You're not in the crate until you reach the step beyond here. As for the monastery, I was neglectful. A crisis in the capital forced me to spend nearly half a year away. I wasn't watching over my people as closely as I ought have. I was in the capital too, studying at the Magic Academy. I accompanied Father home last month, eager to see my friends. Neither of us had any idea that those fiends would show up and... Make no mistake, Abbot Lees is a good man. I left the fief in his care for a reason, but I returned to discover the twisted brothers of Masada Monastery had seized control of it all. They'd levied heavy tithes, imposed forced labor, villagers were being made to practice heresy. Young maidens were taken to the monastery in mass and sacrificed in cruel rites. In my negligence, I'd allowed those Margulite devils to murder 200 innocents. Their leader, the one posing as Abbot Lys, he calls himself Gravendale. Pardon, did you say Margulite? Cultists who worship the Dark One, Margul, is their god. Surely you've heard of them. I've heard the name. I understand that they've become a plague of sorts in the eastern reaches of the mainland. Yes, plague is quite apt. They live only to serve and appease their lord, and will not rest until he reigns again. For centuries, the Solvian Empire has tried to beat them into oblivion, only to watch as they crawl their way back from hell again and again. And now, they've crawled their way into Vesteria. I fear so. It may even explain the troubles in the capital. The Margulites pose a grave danger to everyone. Yes, and they won't let us live now that their illusions have been dispelled. We need to act quickly. Lord Zadrian, would it be selfish to ask you to take up this cause, to battle the Margulites and take back the monastery? Of course not. We owe you that much for all the pain we've inflicted already. Thank you. I must attend to my wounded subjects, but my daughter Recourt will accompany you on my behalf. She's still a novice mage, but if we're lucky, her spells will one day be as sharp as her tongue. Father, I'll have you know that I am a firebrand, and I'd have it no other way, my dear daughter. But be careful out there. Heed Lord Adrian's commands and promise that you'll return to me in one piece. I promise. Roland seems cool. And a court is rad. Young Lord, fighting has already broken out on the step to the north. I would advise you to send some of our forces to Malaya Village. Alright, I'll have to give some thought to how to divide the army. Oh fuck. So this is why I kept some guys here, but it might have fucking screwed me over. Heh, <laughs> so the whelp has caught on. No matter. He and his fools have served their purpose. Our purpose. Assemble, Margulite warriors. Give them a true taste of our might. And now we have a court. I did not use a court my first playthrough. I really want to this time around because she ends up playing a really big role in the story at the very end of the game. And I just want to see what she's like. Roland's daughter, a Spherian noble and student at the Magic Academy. She's got her own tome, which is really cool, called Nashorn. House Rodin's Treasured Lightning Magic strikes multiple times and gives her a, a little shield of defense, magic shield. 
Okay, and when she gets hurt, she really starts to take shit seriously and dodges a lot of stuff. I don't know what it's gonna be like visiting. Well, I'm gonna send you up here, actually. We gotta keep. We gotta go. We need. We gotta get up here. Shit's about to go down. Do I even want to fight this guy? I don't know. I'm gonna have Ash come back. What's this? There's more houses to visit now. So yeah, I really want to get Gravendale out of the way, like, immediately. What are the new... Seize the monastery. Can we kill you right off the bat? No, we cannot. Unless... Thank you, all of you. You filled me with joy beyond words. I knew you would see past the illusion. Take these herbs, true godly medicine, and may Vestigard over you well. Thanks. That's, that's still the devotion is. No, no. <laughs> oh, she's good. You've come to rid us of the demons. Thank you for all the praying I've done. I was starting to fear the gods don't listen. As a matter of fact, they do. Halden, what can you do? Halden puts up a decent fight, but he's also going to get attacked by a million things. I don't know if I want to risk that. Why does Mark was again? <laughs> Jesus Christ, I wanted to kill this guy early and I really fucked myself. And I can't even risk it because I don't have a save that's recent. I might just go here for now. Yeah, I might just go here for now. One minute. How much damage do these guys do? Oh, not a lot. He's only going to get attacked by one guy. And in terms of attack, they don't do that much more. Honestly, Halden... Twelve, twelve. No, but he will die if he gets hit by all three. I think it's safer to hold back. <clears throat> all right, Yuri. <laughs> Struggle all you like, but the Dark One's return is preordained. The truth is right there before your very eyes. I pity you for not seeing it. Ugh. Oh shit, they silenced her magic! That's bad. Ooh, Behalden is gonna take all these skeleton dudes. Now these are actual skeletons. Can confirm. Bad level, but I don't care. No! Here's what I'm gonna do. That's gonna be one episode. You got 45 minutes of your fucking content. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> that's gonna be an episode. I don't want to record that again. Um, that'll be an episode. On the next episode, I'm gonna re I'm gonna replay this level, right? Not record it. I'm gonna replay this episode. Get back up to exactly where I was in that map. And the next episode is going to start there. So you're gonna, you guys are going to see everything that you've already seen. Oh, wait a minute. 
everything that you've seen will have happened and nothing that you haven't seen will have happened yet. Does that make sense? And Theo will be alive. And I probably also won't have killed that skeleton at the beginning when he attacked Troy. Have I made myself clear? All right. On that note, I'm really mad at Mysterious Saga right now. Phlegm in my mouth, pajamas on my butt. Uh. Yeah. All right. I'm not. I'm not doing that again. That'll be an episode. All right. Have a lovely rest of your Sunday. I might go record the rest of this right now and upload that later tonight, too. We'll see. Anyway, have a great day, though, guys.